The K600 is a new South Korean minefield breaching vehicle. It was developed by Hyundai Autumn. This machine is also known as the Korean Combat Engineer Vehicle. The XK600 prototype was based on refurbished and upgraded chassis of the K1 main battle tank. Turret of the M1 has been removed and replaced by a superstructure. This new armored vehicle weights a whopping 62 tons. Main roles of the K600 are clearing pathways through minefields and breaching through enemy obstacles. This engineer vehicle is fitted with a wide mine plow. The plow was supplied by Pearson Engineering of United Kingdom. Also it can disable mines with advanced fuses by emitting magnetic field. The K600 can rapidly create safe lanes in the minefields for the troops and other vehicles to pass. This allows assault units to move forward before enemy forces can establish defenses. There is a safe path marking system which dispenses rods as the machine moves forward. This shows following troops and vehicles a cleared path through minefield. An excavator armed with bucket can be used to breach anti-tank ditches, dig pits, clear obstacles and lift various objects. Protection of this vehicle is similar to that of main battle tanks. The K600 is heavily armored and can withstand mine damage. It is fitted with NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. This engineer vehicle can be controlled remotely from a range of up to 5 kilometers to ensure safer operation for the crew. This machine is fitted with a roof-mounted heavy machine gun. This engineer vehicle is operated by a crew of two, including commander and driver. The K600 is reportedly powered by a diesel engine, developing 1200 horsepower. Abab K, the scattered mine laying vehicle is intended to set scattered anti-tank barrier minefields by engineering tactical level troops. The Babab enables automatic laying of barrier minefields of different size, density and time of self-destruction. The minefield laying process is carried out automatically by using a control station. In automatic mode, the computer calculates the speed of the vehicle, launcher settings, and adjusts the frequency of launching mines while driving. Additionally, minefield parameters and coordinates are recorded on digital maps and displayed on the computer screen, and might be sent through radio communications to higher command level units. Babab is based on 8x8 chassis with high mobility and payload capabilities. The vehicle is manned by two soldiers. Survivability relies as much on the rapid and safe movement of troops as it does on having the correct armory and protective equipment to withstand enemy attacks. What this means in relation to combat and relief missions in remote locations is a requirement for forces to navigate hostile environments, often without established road networks and in sometimes extreme climatic conditions. There's little sense in armed forces investing in state-of-the-art trucks and tanks if their surfacing product doesn't conform to the same high standards, as this will be critical to maneuverability. Movement across areas with no roads or damaged networks is not the only issue, for bridges experiencing heavy-duty traffic, ground will erode over time, damaging the environment and halting vehicle access at potentially critical moments. Some environments may require short temporary access points, while others will call for extensive roadway to be used for many months. Our trackway can be split into shorter lengths or seamlessly added to create an unlimited roadway, allowing forces to tailor the roadway to their own requirements. Underpinning all military mobility requirements is a need for speed, and trackway can be deployed quickly and efficiently by just two people using minimal manpower. In the 21st century, Army engineers need a robust, reliable and future-proof armored engineer vehicle with state-of-the-art equipment, high levels of protection and mobility in the entire field of application. As a system vendor, Rheinmetall Lancer's team has responded to these requirements by developing the AEV-3 Kodiak, the third generation of armored engineer vehicle. Versatile, highly protected, field-proven and modern, the Kodiak is the best choice for the pioneers of the German Bundeswehr and NATO, in the event of deployments or disasters. Highly mobile on the chassis of the Leopard 2, the pioneer troops use the Kodiak to create barriers, and thus effectively inhibit the movement of enemy troops. Enemy barriers can be quickly removed to promote the mobility of your own combat troops. It is extremely agile in these situations and can also be used effectively when working in narrow passages. The numerous special tools can be changed under protection, which thus offers the crew the greatest possible safety. 
together with a Buffalo armored recovery vehicle already introduced by the German Bundeswehr. The Kodiak as a true pioneer is a perfect logical addition to the range of support vehicles. All Kodiak users rely on the powerful team of specialists, particularly with regard to interoperability and synergies in terms of common parts, maintenance and training. The AEV-3 Kodiak combines modern engineering technology with the tried and tested components from the Leopard 2 battle tank. The AEV-3 Kodiak has an articulated arm excavator in the middle of the vehicle, including further excavator tools, an adjustable bulldozer blade and a flexible winch system. Both AM50X and AM70X bridge-laying vehicles are designed to provide the necessary maneuverability to military units by fast deployment over dry and wet gaps, featuring above all the MLC-50 and MLC-70 class high load carrying capacity. Each vehicle is fitted with a single bridge section of 13 meters length, which is installed in a few minutes, allowing another vehicle to append a new one. Up to eight sections in total can stretch over up to 106 meters gaps, with its supports reaching into up to 6 meters deep trenches. Thanks to the durable and efficient chassis the vehicles can operate in rough and difficult terrain conditions and allow safe simultaneous crossing for both infantry and military vehicles.